Many were saying it was a slow year for gaming, but I'm having a hard time keeping up with all the games released. As someone who loves X Defiant and recently found their love for a much improved Fallout 76, I'm staring at the release calendar wondering how I'm going to have time for other games like Flintlock, The Siege of Dawn, Once Human, and coming soon, The First Descendant. When two of the games I'm already playing are live service titles, and two of the games I'm keen for are also live service, I'm beginning to think I won't be able to play everything. Two is already tough, but four? I'll have to start creating a schedule for specific days, so I can hit everything. The First Descendant is a free-to-play take on the genre that Destiny and Warframe popularized. First Descendant is an open-world looter shooter MMO light. Expect a mashup of cooperative content that will test the limits of player builds as they take on an ever-increasing level of difficulty across a wide range of content. The First Descendant is a free, third-person cooperative action RPG shooter featuring cooperative gameplay. Similar to both Destiny and Warframe, players can experience fun and strategic boss fights through four-player co-op and various unique characters, exciting gunplay, and looting. A variety of equipment is necessary for growth, and you can obtain it through clearing scenario missions within the game or in the world missions where cooperation is critical to defeating gigantic bosses. The player becomes a descendant and is given the mission to fight against the invaders for the survival of the human race and to protect the Ingress continent. The player can experience a spectacular story by growing stronger through various missions and stories to finally discover the descendant's secret. First Descendant is the first looter shooter available on Unreal Engine 5. The First Descendant releases on July 2, 2024 for Xbox Series XS, Xbox One, Steam, PlayStation 5, and PlayStation 4. The First Descendant was first shown to the world back in July of 2022. It was only a few months later when the First Descendant went into closed testing. Players from around the world were eligible to sign up. Since then, more and better gameplay has been exhibited to the masses, and a few more tests were available to gamers. A couple of weeks before Summer Game Fest, Nexon Games teased a release date reveal was on the horizon. It was then showcased at Summer Game Fest. The First Descendant is free to play. While the First Descendant won't cost anything for the base game, there will be microtransactions, including battle passes. When the First Descendant was announced as free to play, there were plenty of people worried as to how the game would be monetized. Given the track record of Nexon with games such as Maple Story, one can only imagine the kinds of things Nexon could potentially do. The main concern is whether the game will be pay to win. For those unfamiliar, pay to win is a style of free to play game where microtransactions can be made that progress the player forward in some way. Think of it like a time skip compared to everyone else. These are more prevalent in mobile gaming, but lately, things have been getting worse on other platforms. Maybe you're out of event tokens for some game. Just buy some more and continue playing the event those are the types of transactions people are worried about, and rightfully so. Hopefully, the microtransactions are balanced around cosmetics only. However, I feel that would have already been announced if it were the case. That's an easy thing to announce for free brownie PR points. The First Descendant is a third-person looter shooter powered by Unreal Engine 5. Become a Descendant. Fight for the survival of humanity. Descendants have unique abilities to tackle both solo and co-op missions. Up to four players use varied mechanics to defeat giant bosses. The First Descendant is coming to Xbox Series XS, Xbox One, Windows PC, PlayStation 5, and PlayStation 4. Nexon Games announced that the first Descendant would be coming back to PC, current, and previous generation consoles during its initial reveal. Surprisingly, they've stuck to that. In an era of gaming where previous generation consoles are getting their releases either cancelled or are no longer being developed for, it's surprising to see a game launching for last-gen 11 years after their initial release. In fact, I believe this is the first and only announced title coming to last-generation consoles that use Unreal Engine 5, the same engine that powers the graphical powerhouse of Senua's Saga. Hellblade 2 is the same engine that's going to be running the first Descendant on original Xbox One hardware. That's impressive. No, the first Descendant is already a free-to-play game. There is currently no reason for it to come to Game Pass. However, there could be some added benefits down the road. Since the first Descendant is already free to play, there's no reason for the game to be coming to Game Pass. As it stands, the game will not be going to Game Pass. However, 
that doesn't mean we won't see some other sort of partnership. There are plenty of free-to-play games, such as Apex Legends, that offer benefits to Game Pass users. Things like cosmetic skins or booster packs are regularly available to those who redeem them on the platform. We'll update this document if any such partnership occurs. Yes and no, the first Descendant can be played solo, but players will have to remain online to play. The first Descendant is playable for solo players. While I can't speak to the extent as to how far people can make it, it's been reported that running solo is possible. However, it may be more challenging to do so. Due to the interconnectivity of the title and the nature of the in-game mechanics, the first Descendant cannot be played offline. This is to create both a seamless online experience and protection against cheats, hacks, or memory editing. Hopefully, the servers will be robust on release day. Yes, the first Descendant will have both cross-play and cross-progression between all platforms. In an interview with God is Geek, producer for the first Descendant BM Jun Lee stated both would be coming, yes, that's right. We support both cross-play and cross-progression, so you can play freely on any platform with shared progression. This is a huge win for gamers that play on multiple platforms. Having cross-progression between PC platforms and consoles is fantastic for players looking to take advantage of both. I'm one of those players.